What's up, aviators? Welcome back. We're gonna finish the cable series. We got a request all cable workouts. We did the complete series. We're gonna finish today with legs. If you didn't catch the other ones, we did arms, shoulders, back, chest. Check them out. You're missing out if you didn't. All right, so hopefully you're using the cable machine's leg extension leg curl to get warmed up. So number one exercise right here is where I would start. It is a cable exercise, so hopefully you have this machine. <laughs> so leg extension, this one I use this to warm up first because I'm kind of old. Oh, you see how far my knees are out from the bench here? Pro tip, and I got this from Wesley Vissers. Put the back of your seat all the way back. I don't care how tall you are, put it all the way back so that when you come down, the weights don't touch. So up, squeeze, come down, no clicking, no touching. The tension is still on my quads. Come back up, good. Now if that seat's up, you're gonna come and rest at the bottom. No tension on the quads, you hear a click? That's the weights touching, you don't want that. So keep them up, keep the tension on the quads. Up and squeeze, keep tension on the quad, up and squeeze. I like to warm up a set or two before I get into it, put the weight on there and get some real sets in. Then I'll do three to four sets, six to 10 reps. After one or two warm up sets, y'all. <laughs> All right, first cable leg exercise, leg extension. Exercise two in your all cable leg workout, we got leg curls, right? So if you got the seated leg curl, this is you get in this thing. Lock yourself down like so, and then you're curling your feet to your butt, just like this. If it helps, think about your biceps. Your leg curls the same way as your bicep. So when you get to here, squeeze your hamstring like you're flexing your bicep, right? Pro tip. Lean forward. Now go ahead and get that contraction on your tri, or I'm sorry, your hamstring, jeez. <laughs> Lean forward, it makes that contraction that much harder. And it gives you a better mind to muscle connection when you lean forward and you get a better contraction, just like so. All right. Again, I like to warm up on this one with one or two sets, and then I do three or four working sets, six to 10 reps. All right, we're warmed up, ready to go. All right, y'all, before we go any further, I gotta put a little hashtag in here. If you're not doing barbell and dumbbells with your leg workout, you're really cheating yourself. You can't get a decent workout without, you know, barbell squats, barbell deadlifts, but you're not gonna match those two exercises. No way with any cable exercise are you gonna match barbell squats or barbell deadlifts. Just keep that in mind, but if you're traveling, you wanna get a leg workout, all you got is cables, here we go. Next exercise, cable squats. So you grab your bar, take a couple steps back so you, your weights don't touch the bottom there. And then all you do is squat and straight up. You gotta counterbalance the weight because it's gonna be pulling you forward. Just keep that in mind. The weight's not directly over your head, over your shoulders. It's in front of you, so you're gonna count the weight a little bit. I like to come up and squeeze my butt at the top of these reps here. Get a little extra glute workout. All right, this is your meat and potatoes, if you will. Your big compound movement in your cable leg workout. Cable squats, so make sure you're doing some weight. Let me just show you, for example, I can do this whole stack probably for 20 reps, just like so. So when you're doing it, make sure you're bumping up that weight. <laughs> Don't cheat yourself out of a good workout by doing light weights, y'all. Push it, especially with the cable workout with legs, push it, do as much weight as you can. All right, cable squats. Before we move on, I got a pro tip. If you're doing the stack like I was and you're still doing more than 10 reps, superset the leg extensions first and then come immediately to your squats. You'll pre-exhaust your quads on the leg extension so that the stack is gonna be harder when you come over here for squats. Pro tip. All right, 
Next exercise, we got straight leg deadlifts. It's a hamstring exercise. I actually like this one on the cable because it pulls you forward as opposed to straight down. So it's giving you a little more stretch on your hamstrings there. And then squeeze at the top. Again, I like to squeeze my glute to the top of this one. Gets a little extra work there. All you're doing is stretching your hammies here. Coming up, squeezing them here. Keep your back nice and flat. Keep your head up. And again, you can do a pretty good amount of weight with this. Just remember, it's gonna be pulling you forward. So you gotta counter that weight as it pulls you forward. All right. Again, on this one, if you have a problem with the weight, you can do the whole stack for 10. I would pre-exhaust with leg curls. Superset your leg curls, do six to 10 reps here, and then come over here immediately, hit six to 10 reps. That starts your workout with two supersets. And we only got one exercise left, y'all. Stay tuned, we got one more. All right, y'all, we're gonna finish this cable only leg workout with step ups or cable lunges, whatever you wanna call them. Most people call them step ups. If you don't have a riser right here, just grab a bench. You can do the same thing. Put your foot on the bench, up and down. All right, so again, just be careful because this weight's gonna be pulling you back. So you gotta counter the weight, which actually gives you more glute work when you're countering the weight anyway. So you step up, boom, like so. I like to do 10 on one leg and then switch to the other leg. You can alternate legs if you want. I just think it's easier and faster to knock out 10 and then switch to the other leg and knock out 10. You can go higher than this. Remember the higher you go, the more hamstring and glute you're gonna recruit. The lower you go, the more quad it is. So if you want more hamstring and glute work, get a higher riser and your foot's up here to start with, right? Right. All right, but these are pretty hard. So I would start with the smallest thing you got and if it's easy, Go a little higher from there, right? Right. All right. Again, six to 10 reps each leg. This is the only new lateral movement we're gonna do today. Uh, you know, we mentioned the problem with the weight stack. If it's not heavy enough, you can do more unilateral work. One-legged squats, one-legged straight deadlifts. I showed you the two-legged versions on both. But remember, if it doesn't go heavy enough, that's another way to make it efficient. Just go to one leg instead of two. All right. Thanks for staying tuned, y'all. That was a cable only leg workout. I gotta throw the hashtag out there again. If you're not using free weights, barbells, or dumbbells, you're really cheating yourself from getting a good leg workout. But in a pinch, and you need to do a cable workout, here we go. We started with leg extensions, leg curls. Then we went to cable squats, cable straight leg deads. The pro tip I gave you was pre-exhaust, superset leg extension with cable squats, and then superset your leg curls with your straight leg deadlifts, <laughs> right? After that, we did the cable step ups, the unilateral move, the only unilateral move we're gonna do today. It's a good workout. The, that really is a good uh, compound move. It's gonna hit your quad, your hamstrings, and it's gonna finish off your legs so you can go home after that smoked, right? <laughs> All right, thanks for staying tuned. For more videos like this, check out our leg playlist, 88 Fitness, like and subscribe.